Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I have not uploaded in forever, but we have Warzone in Modern Warfare now. It's been out for a while now. Sorry for not making a video on it, but I do have a very special video on it today. I did get a solo win when Solos was released. I started recording halfway through because I thought this might make a decent video if I do end up winning. We go on to win, I get a quite a decent amount of kills as well. Literally, my f it's my third game on Solos. Um, I thought I'd start recording, like I said, just in case I do get that win. Um, and we got the win, and it was a pretty decent gameplay. My first solo win on my Warzone. I'm going to try and get a couple more wins, a couple more gameplays on this and start uploading more, uh, especially this week uh, with what's going on with the virus and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people are staying indoors, so I want to give you guys something to watch uh, whilst you are doing that. Me, myself, I do have this week off work. Um, my work is still functioning, um, so hopefully it will stop eventually and I'll be able to have a lot more time. But this week, I'm off. Uh, Ryan's sake, uh, just to sort of lower my chances of catching this thing because it does seem pretty deadly. But anyway, let's hop straight into the gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy. But before we do get into this gameplay, make sure you do go down below and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button as well for more daily Call of Duty content just like this one. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Okay, 54 people left. Just chilling on this roof. Hoping to catch some people coming out of the storm. I've got a Mark II carbine. Um, you know, sniper. I want to try and get a weapon loadout to sort of get my uh, personal loadout. I feel like if you can get your own loadout in this in the, this mode and have your you know your class set up that you would usually rock, then you're onto a winner already. Um, I think sniping in this mode is absolutely crucial. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Hopefully we can uh, pick a few snipes up. I feel like. If you can kill them at long range, it's a lot better. I mean, the snipers in this game are unbelievable, especially in Warzone. Um, and I also have an M4 uh, as my primary in the weapon loadout. It's not the loadout I'm running right now. I still need to get a, a weapon crate. Hopefully, I can pick one up. I mean, I've got 11k in the bank. Um, we're pretty stacked right now. I've got a gas mask and five uh, armor plates. There's a loadout drop over there. So, hopefully, when the storm moves in, <clears throat> I might uh, push and get that loadout drop. Maybe. I hope. Sort of just chilling right now. Not a lot going off. Sort of playing a little so pl slow play, slow pace to be honest. It's literally my third game on solo, so sort of uh, crapping myself right now. Playing it slow, just getting to grips with it. I've not played that much Warzone, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, hopefully, I can play a little bit more uh, in the coming uh, weeks or days, whatever. I want to try and upload more as well. I've not been uploading in forever. <clears throat> People are dropping them. Hopefully, I don't get sent to the gulag as well. I mean, I'm getting pretty bored set up on here, but I don't want to miss the opportunity to kill someone. Hopefully, we can pick someone up. Storm is virtually closing in now. Doesn't look like anyone's pushed out from the storm, uh, which is unfortunate. I was hoping to get a nice little snipe. Nobody over there. I keep thinking I'm seeing people, but I'm not. Proper. It gets you so paranoid almost to what's going off. Um, see if I can see anyone in front of me now, because there's not going to be anyone behind me, which is a shame. I want to try and get a really high kill gameplay, but I don't think this is going to be the one. And what? Is that a guy there? Is that a guy? Is he dead body? It's a guy. Wow, what is that kid doing? Was he AFK on the stairs or something? Or did he just stop on the stairs to reply to a text? But Jesus. Pick up that kill. Nice, easy kill. There's a heartbeat sensor there. I'm going to pick that up. Uh, I think heartbeat sensors in this game are very, very good. This guy's got a Mark II carbine as well. He's just got a film on it though, so we're going to take that. Instead, might be a little bit better. Than the one we had, he's got an MP7. I'm gonna leave that thing. I think I'm gonna stick with the FAMAS for now, just sort of for long range engagements. I can't believe this kid, um, like what was he even doing? I don't know, super strange. I don't know if I want the uh, do I take the stim? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the heartbeat sensor for now because if I can get oh, there's a guy dropping in. See if I can hit this kid. I'm missing, I'm missing. Come on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him from here with the Mark II carbine anyway, but I might throw a few shots. Hopefully just landed him from the Gulag so he doesn't have anything on him. Um, could be wrong. Maybe not. He's looking at me right now. How am I hitting this kid? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. I'm going to push though because the circle is closing in. Deploy the parachute. I love how you can redeploy the parachute. It took me forever to realise you could do that. When I'm on top of a building like that, I'd be trying to go back down through the stairs. Um, super annoying. Hopefully this kid, I think he's looking at me still. Hopefully he doesn't pick me off whilst I'm here. I'm going to hit him though. Sort of worry him a little bit. Hit him again. His armor has broke. Come on. Oh, there we go. Downed him. Let's go. 
he was a low level. Might have not been uh, the most clued up, but like I say, we are going to pick up this weapon drop. Uh, where is it? There we go. So we've got the uh, M4A1 and the AX50. Um, to be honest, it's a killer setup in Blackout. Blackout, Warzone even, uh, the sniper especially. Uh, I wasn't the biggest M4 player um, up until recently. I'd, I have got a double nuke gameplay with the M4 on Rust, but I think because I've not uploaded in so long, not many people want to see the Rust gameplay anymore, uh, which is a shame. Uh, people are more orientated around Warzone, which I understand Warzone is literally the best thing to happen to this game. It's way more fun than multiplayer. I really, really do enjoy it. I've not even squatted up with anyone. So, in fact, I don't even have anyone to squad up with. So, if you guys want to squad up, let me know. I'm sure I'll be able to squad up whilst we're off for this week. Um, but, I mean, it'd be fun. I've, not, I've played solo squads when it first came out before solo came out. Um, I got a couple of... Oh, there's a guy to my left. Just in the distance there. He's got a quad. Let's see if I can get him. Um, but yeah, it's not as much fun without playing with anyone. But here we go. Let's kill this kid. There we go. Nice little easy headshot. That's four kills we've got right now. Four kills? I swear we had... Four kills. Oh yeah, it will be four kills. Cause we had a... Yeah. I got so confused. Um, I forgot I even had a kill. I've only took into account the last three kills we've just picked up recently. Um... Hopefully we can get a couple more under our belts. Um, but yeah, in the solo squads, I did get a couple of uh, high placements. I've come second a couple of times. And I've come second in solo was actually the game before this. So hopefully we can pick up a win. I don't want to be let down again. Because finishing second is so, so annoying. I'd rather finish 10th than second and not make it that far. Because when you're in a 1 versus 1, or whatever it may be, 1 versus the final squad... It is super annoying losing to that person. Um, I'd rather have people around me and being getting shot from multiple angles and then die because it's far less annoying because I didn't stand as much of a chance. I'm trying to see if I can pick anyone off the top of these rooftops. It doesn't look like there is anyone around right now. They're shooting to the north, so I'm going to head that way. And the storm's going to be coming in in 13 seconds anyway. So we need to start heading that way. I'm going to try and kill this kid over here. Where is he? Where is this kid? I just shoot him on the minimap. This is what I hate now. I've totally lost him. It could be on the roof, potentially. If we do get caught in the storm, we might be able to um, do something. But I'm going to buy a self-revive kit. No, I'm not. No, no. I'm not going to bother with self-revive because I feel like it's pointless in solos. I mean, we'll get it because, I mean, it can help us. Where is this kid, though? There he is. He's dropping down. Let's try and see if we can pick this kid up. But, yeah, I feel like self-revive kit in solos can be a little bit annoying. And I'm so grateful for the gas mask right now. Allowing me to go into the storm. Literally such a clutch thing, the gas mask. I think this kid's going in his truck. I think we've lost him. Which is a shame. Potentially. Oh, no, it's not. This must have been someone else. Let's see if we can pick this kid up. Another mistake I keep making as well is challenging from distance. Like, I'd start shooting that kid there. And obviously, it's going to spin on me, and I'm not going to stand as much of a chance. But this is a vulnerable. He's easy kill. There we go. Nice little headshot again. Easy kills. Five kills. I'm not even going to bother looting. Because to be honest, I don't think I need it. I've got a Stim, I've got a Semtex, which I'm probably not going to use. Uh, just forget I even have lethals in, in, in game modes like this. Uh, but the M4 and the AX50 are decent setup. I see a lot of people using thermal. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Please no. Oh my life. I need to pop some of these armor plates. Where is this guy? Let's see if I can snipe him. I have no idea where he is. Oh my god, Jesus. He broke my armor. I'm so weak. Please don't push. Please don't push. N oh, no way. No way. Oh, my days. We're going to get sent to the Gulag. This is so annoying. The Gulag. We could get out of the Gulag and pick up a win. Hopefully. Oh, man. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, we did get straight release there. It looks like no one was um, able to play us. I think the deadline, you know, there's a cutoff for the Gulag. Um... So we didn't actually end up playing anyone, they just released us straight away, which we will take, super lucky, and there's actually, yeah, the Gulag is closed, that's probably why, there is a loadout drop right beneath me where we're spawning in, I've never had this before, this is super lucky, and there's a guy there, there's a guy just going to this house to my left, I'm hoping he's gone inside and he's sort of hiding, like being a noob, and we can pick up this loadout drop without him seeing us, quickly, like let's get that loadout drop, and let's try and kill this kid, he's around here, there he is. There he is. This is an easy kill. Got to be silent. I've got no ammo, so we need some ammo off this kid. Urgently. 
Hopefully he's got full AR ammo. Which I'll take. I have no idea where he is. He's in here somewhere though. He's got to be. I don't want to make too much noise. I wanted to close that door, but it's going to give me away. All my days. Where is he? He's in here somewhere. He's got to be. I'm just going to wait it out for him. I don't want him to be in the same situation. He could know I'm here. He could be literally doing what I'm doing, pre-aiming like this, and I'm going to walk in and get absolutely beamed. That's a possibility. There's only 11 people left as well. There he is. He was. He knew I was here, crouching around like that. He knew it. He, he destroyed my armor, so I'm so thankful I waited that out because he could have potentially absolutely ruined me. He's got a heartbeat sensor, which I don't think I'm going to take right now at this stage in the game. I am worried because I've got one armor plate. And, I mean, I could buy some if I do manage to get to it. There's an armor plate in that toilet there. Let's pick that up. It's going to give us an advantage. Armor is so important, even though it... It can be destroyed fairly easily. I mean, I'm pretty sure for a headshot as well, even if you're full armoured to a sniper, it'll still finish you. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. There's five people left. My heart is pounding. The storm's going to be coming in any second now. I'm just sort of wanting to wait it out a little bit. This guy did have full AR ammo, or a lot of AR ammo anyway. So we seem to be alright on that front. Hopefully we can pick up a win. I'm hoping. Let's see if we can snipe him. This is where the sniper comes in absolutely huge. And I'm not going to hit any shots. But in situations like this where it's open circle. I know where there's two people. They're going to see me with my glint anyway. They'll probably know where I am. But hopefully we can outplay him with a sniper anyway. Oh, I was so glad there's no one sat up here. I've died from that a few times. People just sitting upstairs in buildings. Waiting for people. It's so annoying. Storm is coming in. I might get caught in the storm here. I might have to jump out of here, which I'm not a fan of. I'm very vulnerable here. I'm so scared. <laughs> we need to get inside some form of building just to give us a little bit more cover. Let us a little bit. Okay, there's a kid here on me. There's a kid with me inside the this building. Where is he, though? I don't want to open the door and go through the door. Nobody in there. It's literally. I saw him on the minimap around here. I have no idea. This is dangerous. Very dangerous. He's here on oh my days. Easy kill. Wasn't looking. He's got self-revive. That's what I mean. Self-revive is pointless. That kid had self-revive. Fair enough if it was a snipe from distance and you could get up. I can understand that. But in situations like that, uh, where obviously the self-revive kit would matter the most, especially in spot squads, if you can have a self-revive at this point in the game and go down so that everyone else is focused on the rest of your team while you can revive yourself and get back up into the fight. Um, but in situations like that, it's pointless. See if I can snipe this kid as well. See if I can. I'm going to hit him. He's hit me as well, though. I'm going to pop another arm and play. Got to stay full. Oh, it's my god. It's a one versus one. This is it. I've been in this situation a few times. <laughs> Please don't choke. We've got three armor plates. Oh, my days. I'm... Is that the storm? What, what even was that? It just hit me. Call my days. I'm so glad this kid hasn't got a sniper. He's here. We're beaming him. I don't think he's got any armor. Remember the Semtexes. I'm going to buy a gas mask just in case the circle fully closes. It could absolutely win me the game. So glad I'm next to a buy station, actually. It's so lucky. A little bit more armor is going to be massive. It's, I don't know if he's still down this hill, <clears throat> but I'm going to have to do something. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Warzone victory. That is the first solo win of mine. I'm so happy I got it. Oh, my days. Wow. Literally... So, so great. I mean, smash the like button for that. Smash the subscribe button for the first solo victory. Jesus. That was so insane. I think I got about eight kills. Not entirely sure how many exactly. But I want to get a lot more higher kill gameplay than that one. Um, Jesus. I can't believe it. My heart is literally pounding. So intense towards the final um, circle. I mean, first place. Let's go baby thank you guys ever so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to see more daily warzone content like this one a lot more wins i'm going to grind it out and get so many more wins hopefully make sure you do smash that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that like button as well it always does mean a lot to me thank you guys ever so much for watching i hope to catch you guys in the next one peace